Hi, in this video, we'll create a watercolor painting effect in Photoshop. We'll use smart object layers so the final result can be saved as a reusable PSD template, allowing you to transform any photo into a watercolor painting effect. All right, let's get started. First, create a new document with dimensions of 3840 by 2160 pixels. Set the resolution to 300 pixels per inch, the color mode to RGB at 8-bit, and the color profile to sRGB, then click Create. Add a solid color layer and fill it with E9E9E9. Delete the default background layer. Drag the model image onto the canvas. Adjust its size as needed. And click the check mark to confirm. Next, we'll remove the background. With the model image layer selected, go to Select, Subject, then click the layer mask icon to add a layer mask. Rename the layer Model and convert it to a smart object. Go to Filter, Liquify, and in the dialog box, use the Forward Warp tool with pressure set to 100 and density set to 50. Stretch the model image pixels to fill the entire canvas, creating random curved shapes. When finished, click OK to confirm. Then go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and set the radius to 150. Go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and under the Texture category, select Texturizer. Set the texture to Canvas, Scaling to 200, Relief to 3, and Light to Top. Then click OK. Apply a layer mask. Duplicate the model layer by pressing Ctrl-J on Windows or Command-J on Mac. Remove the Gaussian Blur and liquify filters from the duplicate, keeping only the Texturizer filter. Next, go to Filter, Stylize, Find Edges. Set the Find Edges opacity to 50%, change the Blend Mode to Soft Light, and click OK. Go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and under the Artistic Group, select Dry Brush. Set Brush Size and Brush Detail to 10, Texture to 3, then click OK. Change the Filter's Blend Mode to Lighter Color. Then, go to Filter, Filter Gallery, Cutout. Set Number of Levels to 5, Edge Simplicity to 5, and Edge Fidelity to 3, then click OK. Change the Filter Blend Mode to Soft Light. Move the Texturizer filter to the top position in the Smart Filter list. Add a Vibrance Adjustment layer and tweak the Vibrance and Saturation values to your liking. Then, add a Levels Adjustment layer. Slide the midpoint to the right to enhance midtones and adjust the Shadow Slider to reduce shadow intensity. Select the Duplicate's Layer Mask. Set the Foreground color to white and the Background color to black. Go to Filter. Render. Clouds. Activate the brush tool and open the brush settings panel. Search for and download any ABR file of watercolor brush sets you like from your favorite source on the internet. Then, import the brushes by going to the brushes tab, clicking the top right icon, selecting import brushes, choosing the ABR file, and clicking load. Set the foreground color to black by pressing the D key. Open the imported watercolor brush set Activate a brush tip and adjust the brush size. Use the brush to paint over areas of the model image you want to hide, ensuring you paint on the layer mask. Use the left and right arrow keys to rotate the brush and the square bracket keys to adjust the brush size. Randomize the size and flow for smoother transitions. Paint with white to reveal parts of the model and black to hide them. To refine the mask, press Alt on Windows or Option on Mac and click the layer mask to view it directly. Paint to adjust the black and white transitions as needed. 
Alt or option click the layer mask to revert to the previous state. Set the foreground color to black. Then select the original model layers mask and fill it with black by pressing Alt Delete on Windows or Option Delete on Mac. This way will give you a clearer view of the area you're going to refine. And continue the process using either a watercolor or soft round brush to refine the transition by brushing on the duplicate layers mask. Select the original model layers mask and repeat the process with the watercolor brushes to reveal the background. Experiment with brush size and presets for a natural look. This process is very time consuming, so take your time to experiment with different amounts of brush flow to ensure the color transition resembles a watercolor painting. Adjust the level settings again to refine the midtones and shadows. Duplicate the model layer, place it at the top, and delete its effects and layer mask. Open the Blending Options dialog box, reduce both the opacity and fill opacity to zero, and click OK. Rename this layer Placeholder. To replace the model image, Double-click the placeholder layer icon, drag the new image onto the canvas, remove the background, adjust its size and placement, deactivate the previous model layer, and save the changes. Finally, save your work as a reusable template by going to File, Save As, choosing a destination, naming the file, and saving it as a PSD. That's how you create a watercolor painting effect in Adobe Photoshop. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.